In order to allow mobile applications to connect and interact with the business logics on our DateSnap server, there's a few things you need to know. First, you need to enable REST interface and the mobile connectors on our DateSnap server. After that, implement the server methods, which is going to be the business logics on our server side, and generate the proxy classes for one of the platforms supported by the DateSnap connectors. I'm going to show you how you can create a DateSnap server in Delphi and connect and interact with the business logics from the DateSnap REST application wizard create all of the infrastructure you need to make that happen. In this case here, I can create my DateSnap REST server as a standalone console application or ISAP. All the communication in a REST server goes through HTTP and I'm using 8080 as a default port. In this page, we have a very important step which is going to allow us to test all of the server methods through the web interface. When you check the sample web files option here, every time we create a new server method or remove, it's going to update a web page dynamically and it's going to allow us to test passing the parameters, checking the returns we have for every server method page. And also to enable mobile applications to connect on our DateSnap server, we need to check the option mobile connectors. The mobile connector is going to provide the props class for iOS, Windows Phone, Android, and BlackBerry. I'm going to use the server module as a base for my sample class, and you just define the path where you want to create your method. When you do that, we have the basic project uh, to create a new DateSnap server that allows mobile applications to connect in our server. When you look here, the, the proxy dispatcher is connected with the proxy generator, which is going to create the prox for Java, Android, Java, BlackBerry, Object C in iOS, and C Sharp for Windows Phone. When you check the option Mobile Connector into the DateSnap wizard, it creates a proxy folder under our application folder here. For each platform we support, you see one folder. In this case, you see the basic class required by the proxy generator to allow your server method to be executed on each one of these platforms in C Sharp for Windows Phone, Java for Android and BlackBerry, and Object C for iOS. I have DateSnap server, which I implemented some server methods. Let me show you what I implemented on the server methods here. I have the server method unit, which is my, my server class and I have a DateSnap uh, SQL connection, which I'm connected through Interbase database. I implemented here three new server methods. The two first methods here, echo string and reverse string, was generated as a sample method by the DateSnap wizard. So the first one is pretty simple. It's a sum method, which I just sum x and y and re return the result of this calculation. And the other three, two methods is the get countries, which are return DDBX header. That's going to be a list of countries, which I'm going to query on the database, and I'm going to return as a DBX header. And the, the other method, which is insert country, I pass a country incurrence as the values to insert on my country table. And in case any error happen, I'm going to return the exception message into this parameter and I'm going to return false. In case I execute successfully the insert, I'm going to return true, and the error message is going to be empty. So let's take a look at the implementation of get countries. It's pretty simple. I have, as I said, SQL connection connect through interbase database. I open the connection, create a comment. In this comment, I'm going to pass select stuff from, from country. I check if the query is prepared or not, and I execute the query. The return of the execute query method is going to be a DBX header. In the case on the client side, as I'm using REST interface, I'm going to get the DBX header as a JSON object. The insert count implementation is very similar. I create a comment. I'm executing here an insert statement. And in this case, I pass values, country incurrence into my string to execute it later. So I'm using here execute update, which is the appropriate method to execute insert statement. Okay, in case I have any error happening here, I'm going to pass the exception message to the error parameter here, as I said before. When we create 
this date snap server, we check to enable the web files web page. We did that because we want to test the server methods. You don't need to create a client application to test your server methods using REST interface. We just come here on this page, server function, and every time we create a new method, this page is going to be updated. I have the, the five methods part of my T server method one class. In this case, that's the basic one, the sum method, which I can pass the two parameters and I get here the result in JSON format. I can use the method getCountry, and the getCountry in this case is returning the list of countries I have on the table country in JSON format as well. And in this case, the insert country, let's say I want to pass here Brazil. I need to say real is the currency case I'm execute. I get a true, no error message, and the values I pass. In case I try to execute again, I'm going to get a violation primary key because I already have Brazil on this, on this table. So this is the basic stuff you need, your know, date snap server. Now let's see how we can enable the mobile applications says to connect in our data snap server and execute the server methods we implemented. Let's take a look and see how we can create our Windows Phone application and allow that application to connect and execute the server methods on our data snap server. I have here a Windows Phone application built in Prisma. You can create a new project in Prisma and this project is going to be a silver light for Windows Phone. You can create a phone application, phone list, a class library, a phone panorama application and a phone, phone pivot application. So my application is already pre-built. I'm not going through all of the steps here. But one of the things I make different here in this application, I separate the proxy code in a different assembler. So I make that because every time you change your server methods, you change the signature or add new server methods, you need to create the proxy classes. So in this case, I to maintain the code, I create a Windows Phone class library and add all of the proxy classes into my uh, proxy project. And this is the project where I have my Windows Phone application. In this project, what it does, it reference this assembler and have access to all of the methods. Another reason why I create that is the proxy classes in Windows Phone is generated in C-sharp to allow the, the Prisma Windows Phone application to access all of these methods I need to separate them. You can see here I have my proxy class on this, under this directory. And to generate the proxy class in Silverlight, I just need to invoke the proxy downloader and pass the parameter language, which is C sharp underscore Silverlight, the host, where is my server, and the output directory is going to be this directory here. There's another way you can generate that, which is through HTTP. It just call HTTP, the name import of your server, slash proxy, slash the name of the platform you want to generate, in this case, C sharp underscore silverlight dot zip, and you are going to get a zip file through HTTP, and you just extract the zip file, whatever you want. So in this case here, I'm just going to generate to silverlight. When I do that, as you can see, uh, it asks to reload the DS proxy class, and I got all of the methods I have, get countries, some methods, and set country as well. All of the rest calls generated by the proxy is going to be asynchronous. And now all of the methods, as you can see here, I not only pass the country and the currency parameter, but I have to pass the set country callback, which is going to be the return. I'm going to receive it under, under this callback call here. And in case I got some exception, I'm going to have here, a callback exception, which is another parameter here on my method. In your Windows Phone application built in Prisma, I just drop the components, and I have the on-click event for the insert button. In this case, I create a DS REST connection, which is one of the class that, that's provided by the date snap connector. I don't need to learn how to do a REST call in .NET because this class is already part of the classes generated by the date snap connector. I pass here the IP address, the port. In order to do the insert country, I pass the two values I have on the text box, text box one and two in this case here. I create the REST connection. I create the server method. When you create the server method, I pass the DS REST connections parameter in uh, exception delegate here. In case I have any problem, creating this 
connection, I'm going to show a message box here, which is going to be the exception message I'm getting. Set country, pass the two values, and this is going to call the server method on the snap server. The second button, it's the refresh button, which is going to populate a list of uh, countries I have on the data snap server. The process is very similar here. I create a DS REST connection instance, pass the parameters, the IP address for my data snap server, the port. And in this case, the get countries here, I'm not passing the delegate when I create the server method instance. In this case here, I pass the country return, which is the type is get country call back. I delegate through this method here. So what I'm going to do is I have the header parameter, which is the DBX header I'm getting here, represent on this variable. And I call this method fill list header, which is going to get the header, which, which is returned by the get countries, and it's going to add on the list box. That's pretty much what I do. You just need to start without debugging the application. I already start my simulator here. So you just come here and pass Brazil. I'm going to pass here the currents. Click insert. When I click refresh, I have here all of the countries, including Brazil. If you just go back here in Delphi and select the data on your country table, you have here Brazil and Riau. That's to see how you can have the, your Prisma clients connecting into your DateSnap server and execute the server methods.